Hi guys, I'm Darya Isaeva and today I would like to tell you about the most interesting of the FIFA World Cup 2018 penalty shootouts. Penalty is not a lottery. After being eliminated of the knockout stage, almost every coach started talking about the lottery, but even long before the World Cup, Gareth Southgate said, penalty is not about the chance. It's about performing a skill under pressure. You can't reproduce the tight legs, you can't reproduce the pressure, Roy Hodgson said in 2012. Southgate, who knows all about how to screw the kick up, has been working on the player's penalty technique for the last five months. Kieran Trippier admitted that players have practiced and practiced and practiced penalties to create the tight legs effect. One of the best experts in sports psychology, Geir Jodet, noticed that English players have been the fastest to shoot a penalty in the world. They were waiting just 0.28 seconds to shoot after the whistle. There is a big correlation between the time of waiting and percentage of success. The faster you hit, the bigger the probability of failure. Salgate knows about it, and now his players are waiting at least one extra second before taking a penalty. The England coach confirms that it's real shame to talk about the shootout as a lottery when there are so many modern methods of analysis and training to be able to always improve. The top three of the best goalkeepers' performances. The World Cup in Russia is making us happy with the great goalkeepers' work. These guys play so cool to become heroes to their nations. So let's analyze three of the best goalkeepers' performances in penalty shootouts. Kasper Schmeichel vs Croatia Kasper stopped three penalty shots in the game. The first was against Modric in extra time and then against Badel in Piveridge in the shootout. Badel, not easy to predict because he has only two penalty shoots in his whole career. But he made a huge favor to Schmeichel by shooting to the middle and the ball ended up at Schmeichel's feet. Kramaric has a very powerful shot and doesn't have a favorite spot. Kasper made a right decision to react, but what a shot! Modric. Let's finally admit that Modric is bad on penalties. He stepped up to a kick against Croatia twice. First up, Schmeichel made it to the ball, and then he almost did it again. Since 2008, Lukas struck a penalty eight times, with four hits here in the World Cup, including two in the shootout. He was unsuccessful just for once against Schmeichel. I watched all of his penalties and noticed that his kicks are so weak. Reina, Agaev, Schmeichel for the second time, and Akifeev almost saved four of his seven goals. In general, style of Modric is very predictable and comfortable for the goalkeepers because of his endless aiming to the corners and also low power and speed of the shot. Modric is genius, but definitely not on penalty. Piveridge. Not many penalties in his career, but seems like he prefers the left post. And Kasper agrees with me. Rakitic is unpredictable. He has a strong shot and his eyes are always focused on a ball, never getting distracted by the opponents. Kasper was right trying to react, but Rakitic is just too good. Daniel Subosic vs Denmark. He became only the second goalkeeper in the World Cup history who stopped three penalty in the shootout. Only Portuguese Ricardo made it before him in the quarter finals against England in 2006, who stopped Gerard Carragher and Lampard's shots. And that's what Subasic did. Ericsson, he struck all of his four last penalties in the lower left corner. Why don't repeat it? It's more difficult with Kjaer and Kron Daly. They both have a small amount of penalties made some years ago. Shone hits the left side just like he did with last three penalties. Jorgensen, terrible job. He struck his last penalty in October 2017, the same spot with the same pose, and it was also saved by the goalkeeper. Igor Akinfeyev vs Spain, one of the best goalkeepers in Russian history. He saved seven penalties and conceded 16 in the last five years. This World Cup he coped with three of 11 penalties hits in Yesta. He's extremely rare, and when he does, then he aims to the corner. It is clear why Igor jumped into the wrong corner. On the reply, it's clearly seen that before the whistle, Iniesta puts his body as if he is aiming to the left. Piqué. All three cases before this in the lower left corner. Akinfeev chose the opposite and started to jump before the impact. And this is the only action in the series 
which embarrasses me. Koke. Nil penalties in his career. Ramos is the hardest penalty taker to analyze. Powerful impact, big variety of his shots and micro pause after takeoff. Aspas prefers to shoot to the left at three or four his last shots. That's exactly where Igor jumped, but Aspas struck closer to the center and Akinfeyev reflected the ball with his foot. Masterpiece of a save. The goalkeeper's preparation is very important. Working hard and leading up to a potential opponent could cost a goalkeeper of 10 or 15 conceded goals over the period of five years. The best example for recent years is, of course, Petr Cech. Cech guessed the site of all five penalty shots in the Champions League final 2011-2012 and saved the shots of Robin and Olic. This is the result of his work with the goalkeeper coach Christoph Lolishon, who has been preparing Cech for every game for nine and a half years and sadly didn't come with him to Arsenal. In March 2018, he coped with a penalty for the first time in three seasons for Arsenal. It was only 17th penalty when the shot was on target. Furthermore, in 16 previous penalties, he guessed the direction of the shot only twice. What a difference! Firstly, preparing for a penalty, it's more about your opponent. And short map is telling you how to act against someone. And watching a potential opponent before the game benefits a lot. Why the hair is so bad in penalty? Let's go back to Spain. Great David De Gea fell down this World Cup, but don't be surprised by his poor performance on penalties. Firstly, he has never been really good in it. Since the season 2030-2040, he saved 4 penalties and led 20. Smolov. Before the World Cup, he was successful in 12 out of 13 penalties in his adult career. And the last 5 of 6 those kicks in a row he sent to the left corner. Well done, David, you guessed the side, but didn't cope with the ball. And further, it was so risky already. He paid for a mistake the next game against Croatia. Ignashevich. The last four hits he made straight in the middle, but De Gea jumped into the lower right corner. Galavin. His only and one penalty was in the last season against Tosna. He struck in the right corner and goalkeeper got to it. Usually in such cases, when a player remembers his failure, we can expect a kick to the opposite side. That's what happened. Cherishev. This is only his second penalty in a professional career. And he decided to strike the same as he did versus Milan in 2015. It's quite obvious that when a player gets into a new position, he's trying to do it in the familiar way, at the back of his mind. As you can see, it was quite predictable. Thank you for watching, guys. Get in touch, leave your comments and subscribe to our channel. Follow us on social media and share this video with your friends. Your support is really important to us. I'm Daria Saeva. Bye-bye.